I read a, a, week, a week ago or so about a guy named Philip, a little boy named Philip. He's nine years old. He was part of a Sunday school group. Uh, the other kids in the class were all, all eight. But Philip was nine. Philip was, was different. He had Down syndrome. And because of that, he was often mocked or, or made fun of or definitely treated different than the rest of the kids. On one particular Easter Sunday, the, the teacher gave all the kids empty Easter eggs, the kind that break open, the plastic eggs that you can put things in. And the teacher told them to go out into the churchyard and to find an evidence of new life and to put it inside the egg. So these kids brought back and piled all their eggs in front of the teacher, and the teacher went through one by one, kind of giving a sense of a lesson out of each one. Found in one a flower, found in another a tiny butterfly, went through all the eggs and came to the last egg, opened it up, and it was empty. The kids kind of went, what? And one kid said, that's stupid. There's a, a pause. The teacher didn't really know how to react to it and then felt a tug on his, on his side. And it was Philip. Philip said, that's my egg. He says, I, I left it empty because doesn't Easter mean the tomb is empty? And all of a sudden they all connected with where Philip was. Rich or poor in this world and yet somehow rich in faith. God had chosen him to teach them the true meaning of that resurrection point that day. But their pre-evaluation of him was pretty meaningless. He really had nothing to offer, and yet God would choose him. God will surprise us who he will choose to use to minister to us, who he will choose to use to invest his truth in. Just look, James is saying, look at the poor, how God has used the poor, how God has, has taken them because often they don't have the means of this world to be distracted by and to think, I'm somebody... I don't need God's resources. A rich man is going to be very, very, very selfish in many ways, self-serving in many ways, yet the poor has a natural road to humility. And God can often travel on that road and reach that life. 